Several wars were being waged in Europe in the early 1800s. This included a major war between England and France. This was to be called the Anglo-Franco Wars. Denmark and Norway sided with France. Sadly for the Norwegians and Danish, France lost the war. The union between Denmark and Norway was dissolved in 1814. It is on May 17th that Norway became an independent state and drafted its own constitution. In 1843, there was a great economic boom, signaling a drastic growth of the upper middle class. This lasted until around 1875, as Norway found success in foreign trade, mining, as well as growth in agricultural productivity and creating more jobs and opportunities. Before most of the people with wealth were part of the aristocracy, therefore born into money. Now, people could work their way up and enter into the upper middle class through hard work and education. However, this economic boom created an intense obsession and over-awareness for money. This is evident in the plot of a doll's house. Nora owes Krogstad money, thus indicating a lust for short-term benefit. Also, Nora and Torvald are over-thrilled over the prospect that Torvald might get a raise at the bank which would m have meant more money for the entire family. Expectations about the upper middle class were also forming during this time. In Norway, this was the bourgeois respectability and included financial success without any debt, good morals, or at least to appear to have, and a stable patriarchal family. This patriarchal structure is at work when Nora tells Torvald uh, to call her his little skylark and Torvald is represented as a strong male figure who makes and manages money and controls the household. In a period, there was also the emergence of a new movement in art and culture called National Romanticism. An important part of the movement was focused on national character and both magnifying and embezzling it. In Norway, the focus was primarily on natural beauty of the country. The farming community was regarded as typical Norwegians. National Romanticism was expressed in literature, visual arts and music. During this time period, Norwegians began to develop a greater sense of their own national identity. Many developed a sense of pride at being Norwegian and as a result a strong desire for the country to become independent from the Swedes' grasp.